Low white TPC. Relax Piper here. Here. I wanted to do a quick review video and share some information with fellow pipe smokers. Particularly those with, I would consider either luxury lighters or high-end lighters. And something to consider. I am not getting paid by any of these brands uh, to review them. I'm just simply passing on information to you guys. For those of you who want to keep your lighters working in premium efficiency. And possibly save yourself some repair cost down the road. So I've recently got a couple nice lighters and I wanted to make sure that I continued to keep them in working order for you know the longest time possible. And so I decided to do some research on butane. And of course, all butane isn't created equal. So I was looking through some forums and looking through the internet, looking for sources of information, including the manufacturers themselves. And surprisingly, uh, a lot of the manufacturers actually don't list the purity level of their butane. So again, this is just something I wanted to share with you guys so that if you're concerned or want to keep your lighter working in optimal performance. Um, this is something that I would suggest. So I was looking through some forums and just wanted to read to you um, some information that was posted by a gentleman. And he talks about uh, getting butane was uh, that uh, buying brands of butane that uh, state near zero impurity logo are the best. And of course that makes sense. The less impurities in your butane, the less chance of your lighter uh, clogging and having issues down the road. So one being Ronson. Um, Ronson uh, is one of those brands that does not list the impurity levels of their butane. And I only use Ronson in my refillables, like my clippers, lighters, and some of just the cheap, um, you know, butane lighters that I have. So if you have some nice lighters, um, according to this uh, information that I've gotten, uh, there's several really good brands, and I will say that, but it says in here, it says, let me read this. Um, it says, your, your view is that you should be okay to use if it states that it's ultra refined. Whereas my view is nothing other than those brands that have near zero impurity labels should be used. At least you're guaranteed for the impurities to be less than 50 ppm under the NZI standard so that's particles per million and it goes on to say that butane gas lighters refills and near zero impurities benchmark so apparently they did a benchmark on several um, butane manufacturers and uh, for such thermal products, the butane lighter refill must not have an impurity content above 50 parts per million, one part in 20,000 parts, because a higher impurity content may damage the equipment beyond repair. Now it lists a name of butane here, and it says, Limited other makers of branded butane lighters gas refill do not publish the stable impurity levels of their product, which may be because their unstable impurity levels increase several hundred parts per million. The near zero impurity logo has become a quality assurance standard in butane gas manufacture. These famous brands of lighter gas are all manufactured to the Newport system are, and are permitted to use the zero impurity benchmark. Um, the top one here 
is, see if I can get this in there, listed here is Colibri, Colton Cora, and then it goes on to several other brands, including CTC, Davidoff, Davidoff Ross, Dunhill, IMCO, K2, London, Newport, and several others. So after doing a lot of research, I see that Colibri um, really comes up as number one as probably the, and even stated on their website, the purest um, the purest butane available. And it says as well in the bottle, 99.999 purity. So I believe it's refined five times. There are some other brands out there that claim refined 14 times and so on and so forth, but um, it still is not the purity, at least as what Colibri puts on their label. So in my personal opinion, and again, I'm not getting any compensation from this company. This is just purely from the information that I found. Um, the other upside of Calibri is that it does come with all the different, um, all the different uh, nozzles for different particular lighters. Uh, so that is also a plus. So I bought two cans of it claims 10.1 full ounce or 300 milliliters. And I'm not sure how that actually operates. I did buy it from two different locations. I did buy some initial stuff on Amazon and thought maybe I had gotten ripped off because when I felt the can, it did not feel that heavy. And so I weighed it on my scale and it weighed like one or 8.4 ounces, which to me doesn't make any sense whatsoever as it's supposed to be a 10.1 ounce or 300 milliliters of what I'm assuming butane. So I am a little confused about the numbers. I don't know how exactly they work. Um, I would think that 8.4 ounces, including the can weight, wouldn't even come close to the contents of 10.1 full ounces. So. Again, I'm not sure how the weights work when it comes to butane, uh, but to me, I would assume that there should be 10 ounces of butane in here as well as, you know, the can weight, but it doesn't come out to be that way. And when I bought it directly from Kalibi, it did come back again. Uh, those cans did weigh 8.4 ounces as well. So if any of you guys can answer that for me in the comments section, I would uh, greatly appreciate it. Otherwise, I would stay away from the Ronson brand for any type of nice lighter, uh, the butane lighters. And that's my advice. And I thought I'd just go ahead and pass it on to you guys. It'll just let you know that all butane are not created equal. So there you have it, guys. Thought I'd just give you some some good information and if you're like me you kind of want to keep your lighters in good working condition and I thought I'd share that with you if you have any comments leave them in the comments below I'd love to hear your um, opinions about this matter and again I hope you guys have had a good week and perhaps I'll see you in the next one later